Welcome back to Cinemation. Today we recap the movie Bubble Boy, a adventure comedy romance from 2001. Beware of spoilers. A boy named Jimmy Livingston is born with no immunity at all. A tiny bit of germ could be fatal to him. Therefore, he has to be kept in a closed environment. He is not allowed to touch anything without being cleaned. He will live in a bubble of plastic for the remainder of his life. His mother, Mrs. Livingston, is overprotective of her son until at the age of four. He wasn't even allowed to come home. He was just four years old at the time his mom as well as Mr. Livingston brought him home in his bubble. The room he is in has an enormous bubble so that the child can go inside. The bubble has two hands protruding from it that his parents can use to touch him to protect his toys from infection. All his toys have been sterilized. Jimmy is living inside the bubble ever since. Mrs. Livingston wants him to stay in the bubble. She closes her bedtime tales by letting go of all the princesses. Since Mrs. Livingston believes they are the best, she has them restricted to only one television channel and one magazine. To hug her son and trim his hair, she makes use of her protruding arms. Mrs. Livingston is an extreme nationalist, so she teaches Jimmy only things she considers reasonable and imposes her views onto him. However, poor Jimmy doesn't have the knowledge to make wise choices and so goes along with her. Everyone in the city knows all about the bubble boy, but it doesn't turn out to his advantage. Instead, the neighbor kids are wrapped in plastic wrap and mock Jimmy outside his home. Mrs. Livingston chases them away often. Jimmy only eats homemade food. A decontamination system is contained in a plastic tubing where Mrs. Livingston places his food to kill any germs before Jimmy can get it. Jimmy is now 16 years old young. He narrates that he was raised like any other kid and is delighted to have an electronic guitar instead of an automobile. Until one day he is at his window when he discovers a new girl of the same age named Chloe moving into his neighborhood. Although he has come to love the girl, he cannot do much about the situation. He doesn't know any about girls or love. His mother notices his passion and tells Jimmy the tale of a boy who was killed by touching the next door womaner. In the following years, you can see his clothes through his windows frequently. He also watches her. He tells her he is aware of something happening but doesn't know what. Awoke one morning with an erection and is terrified. He is not aware of the concept. He is beaten by the bat. He is crying and phoned his mother. Mrs. Livingston comes in and asks him to take the Pledge of Allegiance until he is calm. Chloe has a circle of popular friends who make fun of Jimmy calling him the bubble boy. Jimmy seems to be a bit defensive of her. She knocks on the front door of the Livingston's home one day and the homeowner. Livingston allows her in. She's amazed at the array of plastic tubes that flow throughout the home. She is following the tube till she arrives at Jimmy's bedroom. Jimmy is surprised and nervous because his mother is the only one that he's ever spoken to. Chloe speaks to him and tells him she likes her guitar. Jimmy attempts to teach her how to use the fingers that protrude. He starts reciting the Pledge of Allegiance in the middle of it. Then, the pair will be hanging out every day. Mrs. Livingston doesn't like their relationship but she is unable to take action to change it. A montage of them spending time together follows. To celebrate his birthday, she gives him a guinea pig in a ball and invites her children to his room for Halloween. One night on her birthday, through the windows, a drunk Chloe is seen entering Jimmy's bedroom. She tries getting inside the bubble, claiming she cannot avoid him any longer. She passes out before she can get in. The camera goes to the prom night of Chloe. Her sexually aggressive boyfriend Mark is waiting to pick her up and Jimmy is distraught. Mark is kind enough to offer Jimmy and cigarettes it but Jimmy isn't certain what it's. One night, Jimmy sees Mark and Chloe playfully kissing through his windows. Chloe walks into Jimmy's bedroom and gifts him with her engagement ring next day. Mark had offered her to be married to him. She's told Jimmy about their wedding at Niagara Falls. Jimmy is disappointed but doesn't display it on his face. She has also brought him a gift which she keeps in his decontamination. However, Jimmy ignores the present. Instead, he gave her the guinea pig and demanded her permission to go home. Chloe goes away crying in her eyes. Jimmy then opens the present to see the snow globe with I love you written across it. Surprised, he screams her name and decides to head to Niagara Falls to stop the wedding. He is determined to build an inflatable bubble shield for himself and finally succeeds. After that, he leaves the house without the permission of his parents being aware. Jimmy is happy to be running for the first time. He reaches the bus station and asks to purchase a bus ticket. However, Jimmy has forgotten to carry any cash. In a state of panic, he attempts to cross the road when it is struck by a bus. He tumbles to the ground, but his bubble saves him. The bus passengers come out and offer him a ride. Jimmy happily accepts it but then comes to realize that they belong to the cult of religion. When he tries to expose it, he is yelled at and thrown off the bus. They make it to their destination and their leader announces that God has sent a savior to the entire world. They are convinced that Jimmy is their salvation and set off to find him. Jimmy is able to meet Slim the biker. Jimmy talks to Slim about his love for another woman. Slim is impressed and then shares stories of his previous love for his girlfriend. 
who he has always named Wildfire, he offers Jimmy an opportunity to ride with him and the two travel towards Niagara Falls. In her home, Mrs. Livingston finds Jimmy missing and is frightened. Since Jimmy disappeared in less than 24 hours, the Mrs. Livingston set out with her husband in search of him. Slim and Jimmy journey to Vegas to rest. Jimmy has just two days to prepare for the wedding, and they can have a lot of fun at the casino. He leaves Slim at the casino and takes a scooter to go on his way. Jimmy is able to get away after a short time despite his parents try to stop him. He runs in a hurry. Jimmy has an accident, but thankfully his bubble flies him into a train. He escapes his mother but is trapped in a train. With abilities from the show, he is told by the people who are freaks about Dr. Freak, his boss who is the one who holds them and utilizes them in his fright shows. Jimmy is introduced to Dr. Freak who is a dwarf. He throws the man on the ground using his bubble and frees all the freaks. Then, he makes his trek to Niagara Falls, but he cannot use a scooter anymore. He decides to go to a restaurant and then asks for the ride. Pushpop is bullied by the police. They confront Jimmy and he tells them that he has no immunity. They think Jimmy is suffering from a contagious illness and leave the area. The restaurant burns down in the chaos and Pushpop offers Jimmy the opportunity to ride. He agrees to take him somewhere else to Niagara Falls. Mrs. Livingston reaches Dr. Freak who informs her that Jimmy will go to Niagara Falls. Furious, she is furious. She calls Chloe and yells at her for making Jimmy escape. She speaks to Dr. Freak about the freaks that are outside Steele's car. Pushpop, Jimmy, and Jimmy are on their way when they hit a cow on the middle of the road. Pushpop is upset because cows represent the image of God in his faith. Jimmy, as per the instructions of his mother, says to Pushpop that his faith is false. Pushpop is not happy and leaves Jimmy for good. Jimmy finally makes it to New York and asks Pippi to take him for a ride. Pippi agrees. Jimmy awakes in the morning to discover that the driver still drives the car. Jimmy is shocked to discover that Pippi has died and the car is smashed into the billboard. Board. Jimmy calls Chloe at a grocery store. Mark answers the phone and informs Jimmy to hang up as they are about to tie the knot with Chloe in one hour. He is now hopeless and contacts his mother and asks her to drop off the bride to him. Both his parents arrive and take him inside the car. Mrs. Livingston goes to the bathroom when Mr. Livingston asks Jimmy how it was like to be outdoors for the first time. Father and son have a bond. Mr. Livingston tells Jimmy to not give up before trying. In accordance with his advice, Jimmy rushes to stop the wedding. Mrs. Livingston notices and follows him in his vehicle. In the meantime, the cult group finds Jimmy and is also following him. Slim with his biker friends helps to save Jimmy to Slim Locks Eyes with Mrs. Livingston who happens to be his former love Wildfire. They discover that they are driving on a runway of a plane. A plane departs and Jimmy joins the plane along with an old pilot. They fly to Niagara Falls, but the plane crashes and makes Jimmy to fall into the water. His bubble does not let him drown. He swims out of the water and then rushes to the wedding. Mark and Chloe are in the chapel and reciting their vows. Jimmy then enters the church declaring his love for her. He sees this as his final chance of convincing Chloe to marry him and he breaks open his bubble and kisses her. He is unconscious when he goes, while Chloe attempts to get him up. When the Mr. and Mrs. Livingston arrive at Mrs. Livingston's house, Mrs. Livingston grieves the loss of her son. Mr. Livingston asks her to expose the truth to all. Jimmy suddenly awakens after Mrs. Livingston reveals embarrassingly that Jimmy has no medical condition. It turns out she had told him lies to protect him from all the dangers in the world over the years. Jimmy is stunned but forgives his mother for lying to him. After everyone has clapped, he finally embraces is Chloe. It's a couple of months later. Chloe and Jimmy are getting married. He is surrounded by the people that he's met on the road to the wedding. The guests include Mr. Livingston, Mrs. Livingston, and Slim. When Jimmy and Chloe depart for their honeymoon, the movie comes to an end. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.